Today's episode is sponsored by Omaze. Enter for your chance to win a 4GT at omaze.com slash cars and cameras. What's up everybody, I'm John. I'm Isaac. And today on Cars and Cameras, we are picking up right where we left off on our four wheel drive Ford Bronco Power Wheels go-kart build. Last time, we got the front suspension about 90% done. We just have a few things to finish up uh, that are very critical to making this unit work with four wheel drive. For example, getting the chains to pass by the steering. The steering and the suspension and the frame and there's just really a narrow window down there for the chains to pass through and we got to find that window. So we are hoping that by the end of today's episode we will have our front end and drive line completely figured out. Not on wood. Good one. All right so it's time to take the body off, take the engine off, put it in service position and figure out our chain situation. Like I mentioned, today's video is sponsored by Omaze, who we've partnered with to offer you a chance to win a 2005 Ford GT plus $20,000 cash to raise money for charity. Taxes and shipping are included, and even better, every donation benefits a great cause. All you need to do is go to omaze.com slash cars and cameras and enter for your chance to win. The early to mid 2000s Ford GT is a dream supercar. 550 horsepower, supercharged mid-engine V8, and this is a primo model with only 1500 miles. Every donation supports the Peterson Automotive Museum to extend its on-site and online education programs and aid in the development of new exhibitions, community events, and preservation activities. These cars usually sell for deep into the six figures, so now's your chance to donate $1, $5, or $10, and you'll be entered to win this legendary supercar plus $20,000. If you win, let me know, because it's one of my dream cars. One winner will win this 2005 Ford GT plus $20,000. For your chance, go to omaze.com slash cars and cameras and enter now. And the best part is every donation supports the Peterson Automotive Museum. Again, that's omaze.com slash cars and cameras. Go there, donate, and good luck. All right, let's figure out the steering on this Bronco go-kart. All right, guys, so we, we figured out a good way to get this chain around this steering linkage here. Uh, we're going to be, uh, John is coming up with some brackets to cut out to put in here to allow me to put this sprocket here, which allows me to pull this chain from here down and around this linkage coming out of this hole and to the uh, jack shaft. And I'm going to have another sprocket here bringing the chain from here down underneath into the jack shaft. So John's working on that program. Right so John just ordered lunch. We're having nachos, loaded nachos. It's just good nacho weather, you know? It is. It's Guys, it's really terrible outside. Apparently we have some sort of tropical, tropical storm. I almost said Tropic Thunder coming through. <laughs> Tropic Thunder coming through. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Cover. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I had to clean the lens. I'm sorry. All right. It was so fogged up, couldn't see anything. Nacho time. Man, I, I gotta say, after those nachos, I'm kind of ready for a nap. <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> Why? But our parts have been cut, and they're all cooled off, and they're being mocked up already. Yeah. How's that gonna work, you think? I think it's gonna be okay. Um, the biggest problem is going to be this one up here. But, uh, I think we can make it work. So this is kind of what it's going to look like right here. 
clever. The largest sprocket we were able to fit on the front axle was 24 teeth, and that's number 40 chain. And we're going to a 16 tooth in the center section, and we're going to go with another 24 on the rear axle. We're thinking we're going to have to set up a small jack shaft around here to further reduce the gear so we don't get stuck with one massive gear right here, which is going to take up a lot of foot room. Yeah, and I think this is going to give us the opportunity to uh, have a... Uh, the jack shaft, we can swap. One one sprocket can be big while the other one's small, and we can turn it to have a rock crawling vehicle or a faster vehicle. Sounds good. Yeah. So we have our main jack shaft disassembled. Ike is getting ready to weld together the sprockets that are going to go to the rear and to the front. You okay? Yeah. Alright dude. Sweet. I can put this on. And uh... I guess we can tension the front. And we can work on the back. Like I said, I'd like to redesign the back. Uh, arms a little bit, basically just beefing them up. So now that we have our sprockets and main jack shaft installed and looking good, we can circle back to the rear shocks. We're not happy with the shock location. For one thing, it's too far inboard. Uh, another, another thing is uh, they're not close enough to the uh, mounting location, which is causing a little bit of leverage, a lot of strain on those bolts. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to widen the uh, trailing arms. Thank you. Trailing arms, uh, allowing us to move these shocks a little bit more outboard. Um, more room for seat, and you know, wider is better. Uh, probably more stable, less strain on the axle, and, and all that stuff. So it's a win-win. Absolutely. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. So we have our upper rear shock mounts cut out and welded in. They look great and they, uh, they should be nice and strong and they leave a lot more clearance for like a seat area. So now we are going to trim up the body so we can place the whole body on the frame. And for everyone saying that it's too wide, we did it for a few reasons. One, for stability. Two, for suspension travel because our CV joints are pretty much maxed out. 
They're limited. At full droop? Yeah, so, so in order to pull in the track width there, we would have to shorten the CV axles, which would put it at an even steeper angle, which means we'd have a whole lot less ground uh, or a whole lot less suspension travel. Yeah, we're, right now, what do we have? Six and a half inches? Seven. Something like that? Yeah. Okay, so if we were to shorten them, it would be like, I mean, we'd be like killing two or three inches of suspension travel. Yeah. So it'd be just a little, ee, 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 ee. So I would like to try this, especially the width, it'll be safer. We can do a lot more cutting up without rolling the thing. Cause this, this uh, Bronco, I, I don't know if y'all know it, but the Bronco power is wheels. The smallest power it's like wheels. It's the smallest power wheels. So it's uh, pretty narrow and uh, which would make it very unstable. So, you know, that's our reasoning. try to fit it again. I don't want to cut too much. Yep, you don't want it to be too floppy. Okay. So I need to, you know why it's further forward? Right. Look at this. Oh, that'll do it, huh? That'll do it. We're getting closer. Oh yeah, getting real close. So I got to trim around here a bit more and around here and uh, she's gonna be close. You know, we might have to trim a little bit. Well, no, because we're gonna have the wheels poking. All right, guys, we are out of time for the shoot on the Bronco, but man, we are getting so close. The drive line is almost completely done. We just need to add one more jack shaft. That's, that's gonna add is like a, a gear ratio quick change and also get the chain out of our foot area. It's gonna be tight, but I think uh, we're both gonna fit in it pretty well. It's The packaging is so tight. Like this is the smallest power wheels you can go out and buy. And we decided to uh, make it four wheel drive. So I think our independent front suspension is turning out great. Uh, we beefed up our rear suspension, which is uh, which should work really well for us. Yeah, uh, getting very close. So thanks for watching this episode, guys. Uh, leave a thumbs up if uh, you enjoyed this episode and subscribe for more Bronco go-kart mini bike three-wheeler content. If you wanna help support our future builds and our channel, go to our website, cars-cameras.com and pick up hat one of our new collectible pins, uh, some of our t-shirts, or some of our stickers. It's all good, high quality stuff. Uh, Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews if you want sneak peeks on what we are up to in between videos. Uh, don't forget to check Ike out on YouTube and Instagram at Isaac It'll Be Fine. Thanks for watching again, guys. We'll see you next time. One more thing, we have to thank Omaze for partnering with us in today's video. For your chance to win a 2005 Ford GT, don't forget to go to omaze.com slash cars and cameras. All right, thanks for watching everybody. We'll catch you next time. Whoa! You all right? Burning skin. Ooh. Ah, oh, that's good. Yeah, that's solid. Ow.